back to the sawmill, friends. It's after lunch. I've been mowing all morning. You guys saw me doing some flail mowing down there by the creek. And I've got to do some weed eating, but I think I'll wait till tomorrow. I'm not a big fan of weed eating. I know it's a shocker. Uh, this right here is a red oak. It's eight feet long. The diameter on the operator's side is the large end. It's 25 inches. And down here on the small end, it's 23 inches. We've got a few things we need to look at before we start sawing it up. We'll be cutting this into one by sixes. I've got an order from a buddy of mine. He needs 100 one by sixes, eight feet long. He's actually another sawmill that's located about 30 miles away. And he got an order for some oak and he don't have any oak on hand. All he has is some poplar. So we're gonna help him out since we have a lot of red oak right now and help him fill that order. Now we do have a little bit of taper with this log. So we'll use the tow boards here on the first cut to get this up so we can cut parallel with the bark, we'll take care of that. But other than that, this should go pretty good. Famous last words, but we should be okay. There's no sign of metal over here in the end grain at all. So we're in good shape right there. So right here's that large knot I was talking about. This is the biggest defect in the log, other than the pith being off-centered. It's about 11 inches, about 12 inches that way. So a pretty big knot right there. And this is a pretty low grade oak. It's got a lot of things going on with it that makes it low grade. You got the cat face, it's got this large knot. A little bit of a twist to it, and the pith is off center by about three inches. So, uh, so cutting this into one by sixes for barn siding, I think that's what the use is gonna be is barn siding. That's a good use for something like this. And right now also in today's market, and in case you're watching this video in the future, this is, what is it, April 27th, 2023, Right now in my area, which is Northeast Tennessee, red oak is actually pretty cheap right now. If I went to a logging site, I could probably buy red oak for 50 to 45 cents a board foot and maybe even cheaper. I know the big log yards are not getting much more than that out of it. That's just the way the market goes. You know, sometimes you'll look at these log buying sheets and stuff you see like cherry, which you think would be really expensive. I remember a few months ago, cherry was 40 cents a board foot for a log. That's really cheap for cherry. Cherry's a nice wood. It's just the way the market goes, guys. It goes up and down all the time, but uh, it's the way it is. But one thing for sure in Northeast Tennessee, walnut always brings good money and white oak is still keen around here. I'll tell you what, the whiskey barrel market is just all over white oak. I can't even go buy white oak right now and be competitive and saw it up and make any money off of it. That's how high the logs are going for. They're going for, I think, $3.25 a board foot right now for a really nice wide oak log that you would quarter saw. That's just so high. I cannot make a profit after paying that much, transporting it, and sawing it. There's no money left over.